Hey guys, it's Ali. We are once again back with my Richmond Legacy, which we are playing with Javier once again. Um, I do plan in future episodes to be playing um, different Richmond kids like Delaney, for example. I really want to get into her story as well. Um, and then Andrea is actually going to be graduating soon. She's going to be graduating um, this upcoming summer season in the game, of course, not in like real life, obviously. Um, but yeah, guys, welcome back. So if you you did not watch the last video that is so integral to this part um but right now javier is actually at the gym um Whoa, eleanor is at work she works from 8 a.m to 3 p.m and she is a florist um so i'm sorry it keeps like cutting in and out the game has been like super glitchy um but every time well not every time but most of the times when she goes to work um he does go to the gyms in, or the gym in the mornings um and like i said from you know if you guys don't remember from pr past episodes he does live in strangerville and he does um sell legal cannabis um and that's how he makes money so he really has um, a lot of flexibility in his schedule although um he hasn't really been doing that well lately the market's not really been popping okay um and so they're kind of behind they're not behind on bills but they're about to be if you can see like in the um bottom left hand which like not right now um but they only have like a good 100 200 bucks um i can't really see it right now because i have like awful vision um so and it's so funny because javier is like insistent on keeping his gym membership like i eleanor has tried to get him to quit it so many times um and to just start a gym at home but there's something about like the like going to the gym that javier just really enjoys but um he met up with his friend maddox at the gym and then now he's going to get a drink um at the bar right next to their house um and it's so funny because eleanor wanted him home at a certain time today because they are having a housewarming party for their new trailer um they are inviting all their friends and it's going to be a blast um and if you guys haven't already noticed i <laughs> i'm not actually playing right now this was like a pre-recording but i didn't really feel like um doing like an actual live playthrough i just wanted to chill and record and stuff like that um but he's at the bar right now after he got a good workout in grabbing a bite to eat um and he's gonna get just one beer he only plans on one beer for now but he just texted eleanor saying he would be home soon um to take care of some chores around the house before um the party starts because it's supposed to start at six um and everybody's gonna to come they're gonna have a good time celebrate this new place you know because javier's been in this dingy apartment for like the past couple years so i mean even though it's just a trailer it is kind of a step up in in the next direction or the better direction um so he's gonna go ahead and order a beer right now he's actually calling eleanor right now and telling her <laughs> he's, he's like texting her and calling her because i feel like this man is so like scared of her sometimes because when she like when something's not done her way like she gets so angry but to get the elephant out of the room um if you guys don't remember from last episode eleanor found out she was pregnant and it's actually been um a couple of weeks since this has happened and javier like she still hasn't told javier like i want to say it's been like a month or two um not not two months i feel like a month since she's found out but she's just so worried about telling him um she's told marissa you know i don't think she's told a lot of people just really her close family and marissa her best friend um but she has yet to tell javi and she is like kind of she's worried because she's like okay is this is this a situation where it's going to bring us closer together our relationship closer together like do you think he'll actually propose from this i feel like um that's what eleanor is asking marissa like do you think like you know i really want this baby i don't know if javi wants it but you know he's talked about not really wanting kids for a while so i don't know what's going on with that but do you think you know this will want him to like get him to propose like finally take that next step and marissa's like i don't know like Oh my gosh so like i was saying from the last you know time we saw javi javi really does love eleanor there's a lot of love here they've been they're high school sweethearts like they've been together since high school and he loves her but like he is like i don't know he's going through some sort of like quarter life crisis where he's like oh my god like I love this girl but i don't know if i can get married right now like i feel like he he's okay with marriage and like 
in the future as a future prospect but it feels like he personally feels like he's too young like i want to say he's like you know early 20s like 23 24 um and he's just like so you know just and he he beats around the bush with it too with eleanor um when eleanor like pokes at it like oh my gosh look like our friends got engaged because their friends actually did get just get engaged um milo um javier's best friend and one of his um clients um he just got engaged but he's just coming home now from the bar he had two drinks he thought he was only gonna have one and he lost track of time so he's home from the bar right now and he's waking up eleanor like hey babe i'm home sorry i'm late you wake um and she's like oh my god are you kidding me like I feel, she's been waiting there for like because what time is it it's been a couple yeah. hours and so she's like already waking up in like the most foul of moods um she's like you said you were gonna be home at three o'clock so you could take care of like the chores i was gone this time i told you i was gonna be gone this time you knew i had work and javier's like i'm sorry babe like i lost track of time i saw my friend at the gym like that's the only time i see maddox like come on like give me a break um like i love you babe come on don't make this such a big deal and she's like no i'm going to make this a big deal like this is this is ridiculous like you can't you you need to be able to do at least like one chore i tell you to do like this is our house and javier's like like, listen i i just forgot i'm a human i make mistakes and she's like i know we're all human and we all make mistakes but i feel like this is something that should not be something that we have to argue about and i mean there is truth to that you know it's not that javier doesn't do his fair share of the chores because he does he's actually really good at that um it's more so she asked him to do one thing and he's just like it's not that he just forgot he really did just simply forget that he had to be home at a certain time and and do these things like clean the kitchen and the bedroom and stuff like that but even marissa texted her and, and was trying to get her to go out beforehand um because i feel like marissa doesn't want to come to this party tonight but she was invited obviously because this is a you know friend group housewarming party so here javier is pouring some drinks for everybody and eleanor actually made a charcuterie board which was really great of her um but they're not really talking right now they're kind of being like passive aggressive you know and like couples have fights in public and like you do, you can kind of tell that like the energy coming off of them that's definitely what's going on here but milo's fiance actually came in um just this second um i forgot her name i don't know why okay her name is jamie knight that's my bad but this is actually milo's um, milo's actually sitting right on the bed with them that's milo's fiance and they're actually going to be or javi's going to be part of the wedding party which is really super um exciting and eleanor has met jamie i don't know why it's saying like friendly introduction but right now she's in congratulating them on the engagement um that's really super exciting that's gonna be so fun um i've never had my sims you know be part of like wedding parties and stuff like that i haven't really played much with the wedding pack in general um so that's gonna be something i'm really looking forward to but right now everybody's just kind of saying hi and eleanor spots marissa um and they're gonna go ahead and hang out together at as well these two are such great friends um they also met in college which is really cool so they're college best friends i guess but everybody's pretty much just socializing and and talking and stuff like that i mean we have delaney here she's at the house um but javier is starting a bonfire he thought that would be really fun so he went to the local dump and got like a bunch of cinder blocks and wood and stuff like that um and he's just adding fuel here he told eleanor he would keep track of that which is very important um because that's going to be like you know part of like it's part of the plot it's for the plot <laughs> but oh my god javi has been farting in this video like he will continue to fart multiple times i don't know i literally don't remember if he ate something bad or something i really don't know but here he is going back into the house he just came out to fart i mean he just came out to fart and light the fire it's totally fine um but here they're all talking he's talking to Paul paulina right now this is actually um his childhood best friend and they're they're still really close friends they're just, i feel like they're just joking around here right now but they were exes from high school as well they briefly dated for like a couple months but they're still really good friends um but uh time passed i think a couple hours and eleanor and javi really didn't like talk too much at the party i mean you know javier is the type to want to make amends really fast so he did try to hug her and you know ask her if she needed anything and stuff like that but eleanor did go outside to kind of check on everybody go outside see what was happening because there's a lot of dancing going on outside obviously and she's like okay the fire is not lit where's javi because javi are supposed to be keeping the fire lit and 
She's asking around like, guys, where's Javi? And nobody's, everybody's like really drunk. Nobody's really paying attention. Um, you know, maybe some other drugs are involved. I have no idea. So she's getting a little worried. <laughs> Look, she's break dancing down too. Oh my God. But she's, you know, going to walk out here, you know, scream Javi, like Javier. Um, and she's just, she's kind of worried. Uh, nobody's really talking to her. Everybody's drunk um uh, she does know that he went out with um the other guys to get some food they took a walk um so she's gonna text him like hey where are you like and she's gonna start looking around um jogging where she knew um the direction of the restaurant was in because you know they wanted some late night munchies of course get around and all of a sudden she sees javier asleep <laughs> on a park bench and she's like already very angry you can see in the bottom left like she is so oh my god and she's like if i'm gonna have a child with this man um because i'm not giving it up if i'm gonna have a child with him like he's not gonna be sleeping on benches like on park benches so she's like javier wake the fuck up like excuse my language but are you serious um and she like automatically she's chewing him out like why are you asleep on a bench <laughs> like what is wrong with you oh my god i was worried sick about you and you didn't answer my text you didn't like answer my phone calls like why are you just on a sleep on this random bench and he's like babe we're not even that far like the house is right there he's i feel like javier's so drunk right now that he can't even comprehend what's going on what she's saying um and she's like you can't just be falling asleep on park benches when we have a house to take care of and you had you know you had stuff to clean and you had the fire to take care of like why aren't you listening to me you haven't been listening to me and he's like what has been your deal for like the past month like eleanor you've been chewing me out like are do you want to break up with me like what's going on with that because even though like javier might be staying in this somewhat this relationship somewhat because of comfort and the love he does have for eleanor he still like he still loves her and so he's like really genuinely confused as to why she's been so uh, like weird and she the reason is she's been so tense and anxious she has this secret from javier that he does not know about the secret that could change the relationship and so he's just you know he's drunk and rambling like what the heck like just lay off um and she's like what if we had kids what if we had kids and you just keep doing this stuff drunk on benches and he's like well i don't want kids right now we won't have kids for a while so what's the point why are you bringing that up and she's like and i'm she's she's gonna be like javier i need you to know that i'm pregnant and this is a real situation and i'm this is something that i have a right to know and he, he li literally look he's just like hey this like are you serious like i feel like he's he's so like i said he's so drunk that he can't comprehend what's going on right now and he's like i don't believe you like you're just you're lying to me and he's starting to get really like are you serious like i i love you but what i love you but what and she said her response was literally are you sure that you really love me and she walked away because his first reaction to this is oh my god my life is over and i feel like eleanor could see that in his face i mean look at him he's super sad and he's just like oh my god i i just need to take a walk like i need to oh my god what just happened and he really does feel like his life is over in the sense that he feels like you know there's nothing he'll be able to accomplish anymore and whether or not that's true it's it's not that he hates children it's just this was a huge bombshell um and so eleanor went back home and that night uh the party was you know over around three o'clock everyone went home she fell asleep on the couch and javier fell asleep in the bed so that was that he's just i feel like a level of numbness to him like he doesn't want to feel the feelings he's feeling right now <laughs> let's try to say that three times fast um but because of that he is really just trying to not think about the fact that oh my god like there is i made a small human and this child is on the way and i have to care for this and it has all these needs and i'm responsible for it and javier's already stressed out as is because you know the market hasn't been good lately so he hasn't been able to make as much money as he would like and so there's just a lot of factors right now that's going into this eleanor's up um she's getting dishes done and stuff she does have work this morning you know life still goes on um but you know they're not talking they haven't talked since last night since eleanor walked up but she's you know javier's still asleep so she's gonna go ahead and get dressed um and here she is walking out right now so javier's gonna wake up soon um and you can see right there in the bottom left <laughs> Um, he's feeling really tense about the situation and he woke up um, not 
needing an outlet needing somebody to talk to um because this is really i mean his, his heart has been pulsing like he's had such a fast heart rate last night and this morning because of the anxiety and so none other no other person did he go to than delaney his little sister um and he at first he didn't want to like tell anybody anything for a while but he was like he trusts delaney these two have a really strong bond and so he went ahead and went to her apartment here they are sitting on the couch and he's like delaney i have to tell you something but you have to promise you literally have to promise that you will not tell mom and dad before i get to and she's like yes she's like yes of course like here javier's asking you right now and she's like oh, of course Javi. like listen like i love mom and dad but you know we'll stick together i understand um and while javier's actually at delaney's eleanor texted him and said are you happy to have me and javier kind of left her on red not because he's not happy to have her but because he is feeling a little bit upset right now because she lied um and, and it lies of omission and delaney's trying to explain to him that hey like you she didn't tell you for a whole month she told you that it's been like four weeks since she's known and she hasn't told you and how you're starting to get a little bit more mad and understand the realization of that situation because at first he was like oh my god like eleanor's pregnant i'm going to have a kid and he didn't really understand because he was a little bit drunk that eleanor hit this from him for about a month it's been a month um of time that has passed since then and delaney's trying to explain to him like um you know javier you have to do what's best for you and you know in the end it's the woman's choice it's her choice that matters in the end it's her body and so they really sat down i mean the lady's equally as shocked she's like excited to be an aunt but be, be, well if eleanor keeps the child because she doesn't know that but delay's like oh my god this is the first grandbaby like you need to get your shit she, literally she said to javier you need to get your shit straight you need to get your life straight because you don't know if eleanor is going to keep that baby or not you don't know if you know you will have the obligation to be a father and delaney's really good at stuff like that she's really good at advice and communication and stuff like that and really seeing sides like both perspectives of a situation so they hang they hung out for a bit um javier played with their cats um he really really wants an animal but he's not sure when they're gonna get one but he went back home around three o'clock and eleanor was home uh making a bouquet and she was kind of ignoring him for a little bit um he was like hey and she was she said hmm, like she's not really talking to him that much and he's kind of like hey can we talk i feel like she's really upset about his reaction from last night but it's like Eleanor doesn't realize that, you know, she like hid something from him that was so significant. And this is what's happening right now. She's like, what? Like, what do you want to talk about? What is there to talk about? You don't even want this kid. And he's like, I mean, it's it's not just that, but you lied to me. Like you lied of omission. You did not let me know when you knew. Like it's been a month and you just hid this from me from a month. Um, and Eleanor's trying to defend herself and her stance. She's trying to be like, it doesn't matter. You know, it's, I, I mean, I'm sorry, but like, it doesn't matter. You have a child on the way and you need to decide whether or not you want this and you want us. And he's like, what even happened? Like, I thought we had protection. Like he's starting to really realize now. Um, and she's like, I don't know. It must've broke or like something happened. Like, like stuff happens and here we are and we're in this situation and and what are we gonna do about it how are we gonna handle this like do you want couples therapy like what is it gonna take because javier it's been like four years and you haven't even proposed and we and now we have a child on the way what are you gonna do about this and he well he's like eleanor i do love you and she did say that she loves him back so that's good but she said like he's like eleanor i do love you but this is just so so much to me right now and i'm just so scared and you could see him kind of thinking about sharing his fears but then um she just kind of walks away um i think she's feeling really um just down down about it down about it all i mean this has really like affected their relationship already and it's like that he doesn't it's he hasn't even known for that long but he's gonna go ahead and take his truck i don't think eleanor wants to talk right now he asked if she wanted to be left alone and she said yeah um so he took his truck to the only place that he used to go a lot as a teenager to think and that is the bluffs in windenburg because the richmonds actually did used to live in windenburg for a while i just don't know if i had that part recorded <laughs> um 
but he goes to he used to go to the bluffs a lot um just to kind of chill and, and to think and get his mind off of things of those teenage hormones and angst and stuff like that and he's really thinking right now about what it is that he wants out of his life you know he's he's 23 he's 24 i mean he's literally a cannabis seller like and now he's gonna have a child not there's anything wrong with that but like he's like i don't even i don't know if i have a concrete plan i don't even have 401k and he's thinking right now like where did i how did i get to this point like what do i do now and in the background somebody's coming up and it's paulina and it's so funny because paulina actually used to go here a lot too this was like known as the spot to like come and hang out and javier's like hey like oh my god i thought i heard footsteps like what are you doing here and paulina's like i come here to think like what are you doing here and javier's like i come here to think too and so that's really awesome so uh javier's like yeah i'm just going through some stuff with eleanor because you know paulie is asking like why are you here what's up with you no paulie is like i'm really sorry i don't think i'm not meaning for this to be or come out in any way um they are best friends and that's how i intend to keep them right now so like like they literally keep hip, hip bumping like it's so funny um but she's like yeah i came here to think too i'm actually having boy problems myself javier's just trying to cheer her up and stuff like that but they started to lay Absolutely. down and they're looking up at the stars again i did not like mean this to be romantic in any way because they used to do this as children they were neighbors childhood neighbors so and uh, delaney is actually best friends with her as well with paulina um but they're just kind of talking and they're like life is crazy like we're old now <laughs> we're in our 20s now like do you remember when we were just kids and like you know we didn't have like all these problems and like it's so funny because neither of them are really going too much in depth with their problems they're just they're just kind of being there for each other and they understand they're like it's crazy how time has passed by now we have all these adult problems like do you remember when life was easy but after this javier actually ends up going back home uh -huh. and he lays with eleanor um in bed and he holds her and it's like you know no matter what happens it's like he's he's still gonna cling to her because that's all he really knows but i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here you guys let me know what you think um and i will talk to you soon bye